a magnetar is a neutron star with an ultra-strong magnetic field. At 1015 Gauss, making magnetars the most magnetic objects known. The magnetic field is a thousand trillion times stronger than the Earth's, and between 100 and 1000 times stronger than that of a radio pulsar. For comparison, the Sun's magnetic field is only about 5 Gauss. They are formed in the same way as all neutron stars, through the core collapse of a massive star in a supernova explosion. It is not entirely clear what conditions cause a magnetar to be created instead of an ordinary neutron star or pulsar. But in order to achieve such strong magnetic fields, some theories suggest the neutron star must initially rotate between 100 and 1000 times per second. The idea of a magnetar was first proposed in 1987. The theory regarding these objects was proposed by Robert Duncan and Christopher Thompson in 1992, used to successfully explain soft gamma repeaters. But the first recorded burst of gamma rays thought to have been from a magnetar, had been detected on March 5, 1979. According to some physicists, magnetars aren't powered by a conventional mechanism such as nuclear fusion or rotation. Magnetars represent a new way for a star to shine, which makes this a fascinating field. The crust of a magnetar is twisted and turned by the immense magnetic field at the core. This heats the interior and the resulting stress leads to star quakes, akin to earthquakes. The magnetic field is shaken causing a violent burst of energy in the form of gamma rays, as the field tries to rearrange itself to a stable state. December 27, 2004 saw the onslaught of one such spectacular blast from the magnetar SGR 1806 to 20. The excessive burst of gamma rays coming from it partially ionized the Earth's upper atmosphere, from halfway across the galaxy. The burst of energy was so intense that it saturated NASA's Swift Telescope Detectors, a spacecraft designed to observe gamma ray bursts. In a mere one-fifth of a second, the magnetar gave off as much energy as our Sun would in 250,000 years. If the magnetar had been within a 1,000 light years, it could have easily triggered a mass extinction event on Earth. This makes it more intense than even a supernova which is considered safe at 100 light years.